August 2007, I had the heart attack. The pain was so severe, it actually woke me up, and I had never felt pain like that before. You don't think that it's going to happen to somebody who is just a picture of health, somebody who is active on a almost a daily basis. He eats very healthily. He doesn't drink, he doesn't smoke. You imagine it happening to somebody who is very unhealthy, um, very overweight. It, it, it's just clear to me that you cannot be too careful of who it's gonna happen to. Where's the dragonfly? It is, yeah. Well done, man. How many dragonflies? One. Play. Two. The first time I had my cholesterol tested, was in 1994. It was slightly raised. My GP's advice was to address that and bring it under control with diet, and that was about it. It wasn't uh, made to be a, a big thing. My LDL, bad cholesterol, was around five UK units, considered a level of 200 US. My HDL was 1.5 UK units, considered a level of 60 in the US. After my heart attack, I was put on statins, the highest dose. It's really cut my LDL, the bad cholesterol, by around 50%. What a shock I had when my results were still not where I needed them to be. I need to do something about this. I need a fresh initiative. And at that point, I was visiting my son, who just by chance had got breakfast cereal, which was endorsed by Heart UK, the cholesterol charity. And I thought, these are just the very people I need to check out. Sadly, it took Jeff Noble to have a heart attack for him to actually realise that he had high cholesterol and, and to actually do anything about it. And Heart UK's vision is all about preventing people having heart attacks. And it's all about them knowing their numbers. The, that number is so easy to find out, not just your total cholesterol, but it's also about knowing what the bad cholesterol level is, which is your LDL. And it's your LDL that is causing problems and that's where it starts. And, and we need to stop people getting to the point where they're having heart attacks. Within nine months of my heart attack, I've run around 10 races, one 5K, mostly 10Ks, but even run one half marathon. What really, really motivates me is the patients. Not just the patients, but their families because Cholesterol can actually affect whole families because, of course, if somebody dies, then that's a tragic experience. The children may have to grow up without a mother or father. This heart attack has brought around a lot more of emotion. He, he appreciates every single day to the maximum. He's such an inspiration to be around. He's such a warm and heartfelt person. He's he's just wonderful, and he's he's always there for for not only me but my brother, our families. Um, I just appreciate him being there. I don't need any more. The UK is actually behind um, certainly European countries, but uh, probably the rest of the world as well in terms of cardiovascular disease. Given that cardiovascular disease is the biggest killer in the UK, there needs to be more resource put behind that. Cholesterol is completely invisible. 
and so you, you can feel absolutely fine one minute and then not the next. You don't know what's going on in your system. You do not know what's going on inside your body. So it all starts with the number and understanding it and taking any necessary action. This condition is serious. You don't feel any particular symptoms. There's nothing that you would see uh, from the outside or from, from within. You don't feel any different, but it is a silent killer that can just creep up on you and, and just follow you around like a shadow until it knocks you over the precipice and you really don't want to go there.